In today's video, we are going to be upgrading a Mac Mini to serve as a server in my home. Wait a minute. Not that one. No, not that one. Not that one. Not that one. No, not that one. Ah, here we go. 2011 Mac Mini server with the i7 and dual 750 gigabyte hard drives. So let's get to it. All right, so as I said, this is the Mac Mini right here. 2011, it is a quad core i7, eight gigabytes of RAM and dual 750 gigabyte uh, hard drives. So they're spinning hard drives. They're not SSDs, unfortunately. Now, normally I would just leave it like this, but I mean, I'm here to have a good time. What I'm gonna be doing is we need to make this faster and I'm gonna show you why. So I picked this up a few days ago for about $75 Canadian, which I think is a steal of a deal for one of these. Powered it on, it works fine, but unfortunately it is dog slow. So I'm gonna show you what I mean. Just rest the camera down for a second. So right now we are plugged in. So I'm going to boot up the mini. I'm gonna be using my stopwatch here and I'll let you know how long this takes. Sorry, this is the best way that I can think of doing it right now. So the I'm gonna stop it about there. So it's about 56, 57 seconds from pressing the power to boot. And it's just too slow for me. So what I'm gonna be doing is we're gonna crack that thing open. We're gonna see if we can remove one of the drives, clean it out a little. I'm sure there's some dust inside. Try to reinstall the OS and see how much faster it is. Now, just to say it is completely functional. I mean, if I click on Safari, for example, takes a few bounces, it will load. Internet does work on this, so that's not an issue. But again, it's just the speed of everything that just needs a little bit of boost. First things first, I put it on this mat here just so not to scrape it along on the table. Now, this was back when Apple actually let you open their devices and wanted you to actually work on them or somewhat. So first things first, we have these two dots here. One's the closed, one's the open. One seems to have been left in the middle. So we're gonna try to turn this, if I can do it, to the side, there we go. And the bottom plate should just come off. So there's the MIDI, pretty disgusting. And there we go. So I'm gonna go get a tool set. We're going to pop off the fan take this off here, this little cover. We're definitely gonna have to take off the airport and maybe the RAM as well, I believe. And we'll see if we can get inside and get to the hard drives. So first we're gonna take off the fan. I believe these are T6 screws. And you can just see the dirt build up along the rubber. Should just come up. Now you gotta be careful as there is the fan connection right there. You just pull up and that's the whole thing right there. A little dirty, a little grimy, but looking inside, I mean, there's not much there. I can just blow that out. So next what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove the cover for the airport and wow, is that disgusting. So. We're gonna see if it's the same bit, a little bit bigger. So we're gonna swap out our bits. This is a T8, I believe. So I think we have to remove all four in order to get the cover off. We just put that to the side. And 
and then the clips, the top cover. as well. So next I think we have to remove some cowl, but we definitely need to change bits again. Wow, is that dirty? I'm gonna have to take this outside, blow it out. So we even go back to the T6. be able to just slide it out so there is the cover luckily we did not have to take out any more screws over there let's put that to the side and this again we have to be very very careful due to all the wires so here are the hard drives I believe I could just put this to the side I don't think I desperately need to disconnect it, but we are going to remove these. And with that, oh, just disgusting. We should be able to lift the drive very, very carefully. And there we go. So that's the top drive. I'm going to be leaving the other one, disgusting, uh, on the bottom. I don't think I need to remove that one. I'm going to be keeping 750 gigabytes of space so I'm gonna wipe this off it is the original drives I believe they both are I'm going to disconnect this and I'm going to be taking out these two screws here that hook it into spot uh, into place right over there and we should be good to go so I'm gonna go get my other drive so I got the drive it is this one right here it was delivered today it is an 8.8 or a data uh, SU655 pretty inexpensive drive I think it was about $30 Canadian it was shipped through Amazon I just got it today so I posted uh, on my Instagram and I believe Facebook as well that I was going to be putting this into a new build of mine or a retro build somebody commented online they said they're not too sure if I'm gonna have a lot of good luck because they have not had good luck with these SSDs and their MacBooks but I'm very hopeful again this is not going to be a main machine so all I'm doing is just upgrading this machine putting in a new boot drive to make it a little more peppier we'll say and I might just use this as or the 750 as a backup drive to I don't know old games software things like that um, so it should be working pretty fine so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna crack this open we're gonna take off everything off this drive and we're gonna swap it over onto this one so here we go so that did not take very long I left a little plastic cover here uh, I don't think it's really needed I just think so it's not touching anything metal really so swapped over all the parts put the sticker just in case so this doesn't move and put in the two screws now I believe all we got to do so the drive is a little slimmer I should say so this is gonna be a bit of a pain I've tried it before is you, there's two screws here that I swapped over from the old drive now they kind of hook in and there's a bit of a hole inside um, I'm not sure if you could see inside, but there's these two white things. There's one there and one right there. So we got to find a way to put it in so that the screws line up there and then it could rest flat. So I've done this with my 2010. It was relatively, well, no, it was a bit of a pain to make sure that it lined up. But just got to make sure. And you could usually feel like it, it's almost like being held. So I'm going to battle with this for a little bit, I'm sure. Once it's done, we'll come back and we'll seal it all up. Well, the struggle is finished. It is locked into place. That took a few minutes, unfortunately. So what we have to do is make sure these are clipped into place. The drive is pretty secure now. There are a lot of the wires from the power supply over here um, that push against it. But really, now all we have to do is just put it back in the opposite order. So the fan, a uh, little cowl right over here. Uh, put on our uh, airport the wires, which never disconnected. Eight gigs of RAM, we're not going to touch. And that's about it. So after this, we're going to throw it all back together. We're going to boot it up and see if we can get an OS onto this machine. So the Mac has been put together. So what we're going to do is we're going to boot it. I'm going to try to boot it into uh, internet recovery, which I believe is 
uh, Alt, Option, and R. So power. So I'm holding down the three keys. So far, so good. Pretty sure a lot of the noise from before was from the fan. It's definitely qu definitely quieter than before, I should say. And right now, uh, it's in French right now, but it says it's starting uh, internet recovery, that this could take a while. So I'm gonna stop it here. And once it's loaded up, I'm gonna continue. Mouse is working, as you can see, the cursor right there. And let's continue on. I'm not going to be connecting to the internet just yet. Oh, that's strange. Ah, here we go. So skip that. Do not transfer any information. I'm going to agree. Agree. Let's see. Can I get away with not putting password so I'm gonna put a password and we're gonna to skip to the next one so I'm just gonna stop this for now here we go put in a password and that should be just about it I believe so uh, we're gonna enable location services I will not be sharing my analytics though And that should be about it. And now we should boot into Mac OS. So what I want to do, um, preferences, show up the hard disks. So I have over here, Oh, excuse me. So I have the SSD and there's my storage right there. About this Mac, once again, nothing's changed. Storage, the SSD, the system here. So let's try restarting it and we'll see how long it takes so I'm gonna try to put it in frame as much as I can wait for the machine to power off and start it so far it seems to be way faster than it was before dig myself a few seconds for that but all right so that took about two three seconds there to log in because I had didn't disable the uh, or didn't enable an automatic login so 32 seconds so subtract three we'll say so we'll say about 29 seconds to boot the other time I believe was about 52 seconds considerable improvement right there so here's the machine click Safari Takes one jump, it's loaded, it's not online right now, so we're not gonna see anything. Photos, one click, one, two, bounces. Amazing. Machine is a little bit quieter. It's not a massive difference from what I'm seeing. Um, again, it still has the other spinning hard drive and it still needs a CPU fan, so that's not going to change. App Store did two bounces. I am though very happy with this. It's very responsive. It works great. So now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this. If any of you guys have any ideas of what I should do with this, should I turn it into a Minecraft server? I know a lot of people are doing that these days. 
Maybe I'll just use it as storage for old videos. Uh, 750 gigabytes is still plenty of space for what I've made in the past. Let me know down below in the comments. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please leave a like. It definitely helps out the channel and consider subscribing. I am at today, I believe 93 subscribers. I'm aiming for a complete 100. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.